Hello. This is my new book, The Mathematical Reality, Why Space and Time Are an Illusion. What does that mean? Of course, it's about physics and uh, how physics can do progress. You might know that I'm not a big fan of the standard models of physics, particle physics and cosmology, but that's not the point here. I really wonder about the state of current physics and how can we make real progress. And I think that the key is to look at fundamental constants. Actually, I don't believe that fundamental constants exist at all. And if you think about it, it's kind of irrational to believe that certain numbers rule the laws of nature, rational as gods steering the planets. And for that reason, I think it's the job of theoretical physicists to explain these numbers. That was, by the way, also Einstein's point of view. So, the first part of the book is um, looking at history and uh, actually, actually uh, every big breakthrough in physics, whenever significant progress was done, we ended up with a, with a smaller number of fundamental constants. So, the goal is to get rid of these fundamental constants and I show that indeed as a matter of principle you, get, you can get rid of some of these. And, uh, well, there are some interesting fields of research, I think, to consider, but at a certain point you, you hit a wall because there are two remaining constants which you cannot get rid of as a matter of principle. And these are the speed of light C and Planck's constant H. And uh, so what's the reason behind? And the reason is these two constants of nature are related to the physical unit uh, meters and seconds and for that reason also related to space and time and that means uh, we have to go back to Newton and and question the concepts of space and time and uh, if these really represent reality and I mean for a century now physics is talking about space-time and uh, four-dimensional space-time but they haven't really understood the the essential difference between space and time. If you're not literally depart from your senses, there is a difference between space and time, and we have to question that. And physics has to explain it. So, the last part of the book is uh, exploring the mathematical territory. How can we understand this? If you look how this is done conventionally, there are complex numbers and there are vector fields, and it turns out that there is a stunning mathematical structure that contains both of these concepts which is the three-dimensional unit sphere or you might call it also the unit quaternions and well it has very very interesting properties I'm going to uh, investigate and these are related to many physical riddles such as spin so what we need is uh, yeah, studying the mathematics and the book is dedicated also to mathematicians which I think can make a significant contribution to a possible progress in physics and I hope the book is uh, still readable as well and well check out the mathematical reality why space and time are an illusion